What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode here of our Let's Play. So in the last episode, we worked on our iron farm. Got one pod done, got it actually up and running. So there it is, this is where they spawn up there. They fall down here and get killed. Let me show you what I did though. Set up a little filter system right here. And as you can see, I got this little composter. So all my poppies will get turned into bone meal and then my irons right here, which we got an insane amount. We actually had about another stack or two that I used already. But today we're gonna do a little bit of adventuring. So my chicken farm's coming on along nice, but we're gonna do a little bit of adventuring. First thing I'm gonna do is grab a screenshot of the coordinates for my base area. So if I get lost, be able to find my way back pretty easily. Um, I'm just gonna think I'm just gonna build a new boat. Take a little wood with me just for, just because, and go from there. And apparently, <laughs> Google thought that, thought I was talking to him. Oh, I need to grab a bed as well. So Google's just like, oh, you talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you right now. Um, but uh, grab a bed. Just gonna need that for sleeping. So we're gonna explore some areas. Uh, look for some stuff like some pumpkins so I got some melons I'll show you I got some melons from the village but they didn't have any pumpkins so right there that's all gonna be melons looks like they're like all grown so I can harvest those I'm gonna need melons and pumpkins for my melon and pumpkin farm that we're gonna be building but we're just gonna go exploring so I'm gonna go off in this direction just a good banner guy just chilling in the water Stupid, stupid, stupid banner guys just chilling in the water. But I'm going to go off in this direction. We're going to explore around the area a little bit. See if we can't find anything cool. Maybe a shipwreck. Maybe another village. Some cool stuff maybe. Maybe an ocean monument or a witch hut that we can build a farm at or something cool. It does look like there's a lot of savanna around us though. Which is not necessarily the best, having just savanna and desert around, but you can make it work. Now I'm lagging like crazy, holy crap. Probably because I'm loading it all these new chunks, and this is my old computer, because my new computer is dead, and Acer wouldn't fix it, because whatever. Um, but I'm going to be building a PC, hopefully, pretty soon. Hopefully... I just need to get the money for it. At the moment, I just need the money for it. Oh, what do we got here? At this next desert. Another desert. There's another big desert over here. Let's just fall down. Torch up a little bit so I don't get, hopefully, any crap spawning and killing me. If I dig straight down here. Take out the pressure plate. I did get a couple more diamonds and I did get on breaking three, but I have fortune three on my enchantment table right now. Which is pretty good. Not amazing stuff, but I'll take it. It's not too bad. Golden apple, some other things. Obviously, we can get down here and... Grab the TNT. And then head back up. just like that then we have to make our way out of here here we go now we're out
So we came from over there, right? Yes. So let's go ahead and take Wander. There's a little cave over there. I actually do have at least two diamonds waiting for me. There's a village over where I know where they're at. I just grabbed three of them so I can make another pickaxe. So when I get to level 30, I could do that. I was at like level 29, but then I upgraded my fishing rod a little bit. So I lost all that. So let's see what we can find at this village. Maybe some pumpkins, maybe some good loot. And some of these chests over here. Random cactus floating around. Doesn't want to let me click on this chest. There we go. Nothing amazing, but if I can get those potatoes back without them going poisonous, that'll be good because I don't have any potatoes quite yet. Doesn't look like we have any melons or pumpkins over here. It's a pretty decent looking village. Got some pink house too. Awesome. It's pretty awesome. See if there's anything up in here. No, nothing interesting up in there. See what's in this guy. Definitely take that because I want to brew some potions. Definitely take a brewing stand. Sorry whoever's brewing stand that is, but it's mine now. Let's go up here and take a look around, guys. It's not too bad. We got a little brewing stand. Why do none of these have chests in them? There's only one that had a chest in it, and it didn't really have anything that good. Did I already check this little one? I didn't check this one yet. I'm not surprised that there's nothing in there. Get some food. Some bread, but I don't really want bread. A bunch of apples. I'll take all the apples can use them for something oh we got an iron golem some leather armor for whatever reason might come back and grab those cauldrons at some point cauldrons are always good I think I checked all the houses Did I checked this one up here though I think I checked all the other ones this one might be the only one I didn't check and I might have checked that one I'm not sure but there's a little village here we got a jungle we can look for a little bit of a a witch hut possibly be good if the witch hut was out there in the water rather than close to land I'm gonna have to stop and sleep real quick when I wake up we'll keep exploring all right let's keep exploring guys see if we can find like a witch hut or something around in this area that would be nice to have one that close to us rather than like our other world where it was kinda of far away wasn't super far away but it's a few hundred blocks at this point I'm not seeing anything I don't know if you can hear that but I'm trying to get my old computer to work and you might hear the fans kick on pretty high at some points um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear that, but that's what's happening. So far, I'm not seeing anything, but we got a pretty decent... Oh, there's a lot of clay right here. Get fortune on a shovel. Come collect all this. This is a pretty big swamp. It keeps going over there, too, and there's a bunch still over here. I'm going to grab my boat because it looks like there's a lot of water over in this area. But we'll go check out over in that direction in a minute. I want to see if there's anything over. It still keeps going. There's still more. Over... There's a little bit more over there. It'd be nice if the witch hut was like right in the middle of the water. So I wouldn't have to do too much lighting around the area. Guess I'll take that lily pad. <laughs> Come over here see what we got. Um, not seeing anything over in this direction. Swamp's coming to an end in a minute. 
I'm not seeing anything over there. So let's go take a look over in this other area. Let's see if we can find something. Google keeps popping up. I'm not trying to talk to you. Let's see if we can find anything over in this area. Besides a lily pad, another lily pad. <laughs> seen anything quite over there yet let's go ahead and hop out take a look over here like on the land as well this is a pretty big swamp guys I'd be surprised if there's not a witch hut or two in here which so far it looks like there might not even be a witch hut at all Unless I missed it, but I didn't see one. Yeah, I don't see a witch hut. This whole entire giant swamp. There's not a single witch hut. How does that work, Minecraft? Come on, Mojang. <laughs> not a single witch hut. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going, going, going try to get to the top of this little mountain here we'll look off in this direction see what's up over here do a little bit of parkour to get up <laughs> easy parkour though so not too bad it's gonna hurt a little bit oh well I'm not really seeing much I was hoping to find like a bamboo or s at least some pumpkins bamboo and or pumpkins not seen either one at the moment let's see hmm let's go off in this direction it is going to take me a minute to find my way back once we go back but it's all right because we're going to be doing some exploring for quite a while so I'm not worried about that Let's see if we can go ahead and um, find something of use not super useful but I can did only give me the one high one what why did I not get the two high one from that unless what Oh, when I plant it, it's too high. It just looks one high in my inventory. It's like, what? It just looks one high in my inventory. I guess we can grab one of the couple of these guys. But so far, I'm not seeing anything much of worth besides that desert temple we found a little bit of stuff in. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything so far. Far. Except the fact that my computer can't handle this. It's a brown sheep. I'm not trying to lure him all the way back to my base, though. Oh, another thing I need to try to find is some cocoa beans. Some cocoa beans because I need to. I'm trying. I'm gonna make a, a sheep farm with one of every sheep and I'm gonna need cocoa beans to dye the sheep so I can get the brown wool it's a bunch of caves and things another cave and thing I'm not trying to do too much damage to the landscape just trying to leave most of it as it is pumpkins 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 you got them boys hurry before they before they run off <laughs> but pumpkins are always a good thing to have she can make a really pretty efficient pumpkin and melon farm and then you can use whatever's left after you fill up your melons and pumpkins for bone meal which I'm gonna use for a nano farm I want to filter it in so every time I need bone meal it just filter itself all the way automatically in 
Looks like there's a plains biome over here. Is this the area? I don't think I looked over here, did I? I wasn't quite over this far. All right, let's see what's over here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we got another village over here. Or something. No village. Just a giant plains. Which could be a good place to build a base. But I kind of want to build my base near spawn. So I have access to like my iron and all that stuff. I might make another iron farm. Like try to make a super efficient one that will give me a lot more iron later on. I just built that one mainly to get some iron going right now. Oh, we might have cocoa beans over here and stuff. We might get some cocoa beans. Coming close. Then we'll need to tear down one of these trees if we get cocoa beans. So we can get a couple saplings. I see cocoa beans. I spotted cocoa beans. Which I need cocoa beans. And I spotted bamboo. Spotted bamboo and cocoa beans. So now we got everything I came for. Bamboo, cocoa beans. Let's see if I can get a couple saplings though. Hopefully I can get a couple saplings from this. Some more cocoa beans. Uh, four will be enough to get started. I'm going to sit here, let this decay a little bit, hopefully get some saplings, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I ended up getting three saplings, and then I got some more cocoa beans as well. Oh, almost missed that. I almost missed that right there. We do want to be careful because these things have some traps in them. Just need to figure out where the entrance is. I think it's going to be over here. No. Might just have to break my way in. Oh, the entrance is up here, I think. No. Okay, there was technically no real entrance to this place do want to watch out for trip wires and things like that they are gonna have that lever it's gonna be like a trip wire or something there should be one somewhere right there see when you know what you're doing you're good and plus, you can get some free resources, too. Give me the redstone. So that basically moves the stairs. Yep, there's the trip wire. Sent off one charge. Not very many arrows in there. Bamboo. Really? All that work for some bamboo. Because really all that was in there was bamboo. That's it? Well, that's not good. That was kind of a waste, to be honest. <laughs> there wasn't really anything good in there. Alright. Well, let's keep going. 
actually a lot of jungle around. Maybe we can find another one of those and get better luck. Better resources. Let's see what we got around. I'm just keeping an eye out around the area to see if I can spot anything interesting. I'm going to move my bamboo to right there. So I can keep an eye on how much I'm grabbing. Because I'm going to grab some more bamboo. <laughs> Do you want to grab some more bamboo? Because we're going to be using bamboo. Uh, later on in the series. So I want to make sure I have some to use later on in the series. And we can grow some more if we need to, but this sh should be plenty. I think we can spawn any like polar bears. Or not polar bears. Any bears or anything around. Yeah, polar bears. That's what they are. Or like some foxes or some uh Some of those bushes. What are those bushes called? I'm drawing a total blank. What are those bushes called? The cherry bushes or whatever they are. What are they called? I don't remember what they're called. We do want to be careful because if we get to certain parts, like, it could be quite dark and stuff could spawn. There's some melons. And an apple. I don't really need melons, though. That's the problem. So I don't need melons. Um, I need pumpkins. And I got some pumpkins, so... At some point, I'm just going to have to head back. Yeah. I think we're coming to a close, guys. Traveled pretty far. I haven't found anything. Um, I haven't found anything that interesting. I can actually, I want to grab one of these. Let's see. Let's just get rid of the iron. <laughs> we got plenty of iron. There's a ton of iron. Yeah, I think it's going to be time to head back, guys. Which means it's time to wrap up this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.